Hello everybody, thanks for joining me here in the big white box. And now that you're here, let me present to you the Libertarian Party nominee for the 2012 presidential election, Gary Johnson. No, 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 don't go, don't go, stay, stay, no, look, look, I promise this won't be a waste of your time, right? He's actually a really interesting dude. Okay, good, thanks for staying. I'm telling you guys, as far as politicians go, outside of the political sphere alone, Gary Johnson is great discussion fodder. He's a father of two who built up his construction company, Big J Enterprises, from a one employee operation into a thousand employee enterprise before he sold it in 1999 for millions. Including Mount Everest, he's climbed the highest peaks on four continents. He's competed in and completed several Ironman triathlons, biked the grueling eight-day European Adidas Trans Alps Challenge, and one time he ran 100 miles in the Rocky Mountains. Straight. Like, 100 miles straight. He doesn't consume caffeine, alcohol, or sugar products, and in 2005, the dude almost died in a paragliding accident where he fell 50 feet and his bones, like, exploded. Psst. Come here. Guess what? He got through the pain by smoking the pot. I know, right? This seems like a perfect time to transition into his political beliefs and stuff. Gary Johnson first jumped into the political game when he was elected governor of New Mexico back in 1994 when he ran on the Republican ticket and he unseated Democratic incumbent Bruce King. And almost immediately he was adorned with the nickname of Governor Vito. Why, you ask? Well, within the first six months of his tyrannical rule, he utilized his gubernatorial veto 200 times. This is kind of unheard of in politics and I'm pretty sure people found it incredibly annoying. Hey, Gary. No. Could we just, uh, no. Uh, no. No, no, no! Annoying as this may have been for his contemporaries, he cut the 10% annual growth in the New Mexico budget. In fact, in his two terms, Johnson refrained from raising taxes in a six-year stretch. He reduced the size and cost of government. By the time he was done, he left the state with a billion dollar budget surplus. One billion dollars. One of only four states in the country at the time did this. And he also left office as the reigning all-time world record champion king for vetoes at a staggering 750. This is attributed to the fact that he governed by examining issues for their cost-benefit ratio. He vetoed Republicans and he vetoed Democrats. And now, he's vetoing his own exit from politics and gunning for the presidency. After failing to gain traction in the Republican race, Johnson switched over to the Libertarian side and received the nomination in May. His VP sidekick is a judge from California by the name of Jim Gray. Here's a rundown of his platform. Gary Johnson is all about fiscal responsibility. Government shouldn't be about ideology, it should be about cost-benefit. He'd be fiscally conservative and socially tolerant. If elected, Gary Gary would try to balance the budget immediately by not spending money. Social programs like Medicare and Medicaid would be slashed, and the same thing goes for our military budget. While Romney would throw $100 billion, at our defense, Johnson would cut it by 43% because we don't have the money. You'd also see us completely out of most overseas military conflicts. You'd love to see the federal government out of the education system demolishing the Department of Education, which seems extreme, but he wants to give the power back to the teachers and the parents. He's down with legalizing the ganja, equal marriage rights for everybody, limited government, and online freedom. You know, that makes sense because he did announce that he was running for the president on the Twitter. So, yeah. I bet he liked SourceFed. Anyways, at this point, Johnson is working his butt off to be included in the upcoming debates, and personally, I'd like to see that happen. Let's shake this two-party system up. Let's get crazy, huh? Yeah? You wanna get crazy with me? Do ya? Did this just get weird? Yeah, it did. I'm sorry. Anyways, you guys, thank you for sticking with me while I talked about Gary Johnson. If you like this video, please like it. Subscribe to our channel and hit this annotation if you wanna see more videos. My name is Joe Beretta. See you in the next one.